Taipei's Neihu Technology Park, with more than 5,000 different businesses, has the highest operating revenues of any park in Taiwan at 4 trillion Taiwan dollars a year. But because of the high level of activity, rush hour traffic to and from Neihu has long been a nightmare for commuters. Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhou has proposed a pilot program to spur green transportation to the park. But will it be sufficient to relieve the congestion? Our Sunday in-depth report. How bad is rush hour traffic in the Nehu Technology Park? You just need to ask someone who works there to find out. If I drive from Muja to Nehu, it usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes to get there. But on Monday morning, it takes around an hour. When you're rushing to get to work, the traffic jams there really make you crazy. The 1.5 square kilometer Nehu Technology Park was originally designed as a low pollution, low density development for light industry. But in 2002, in line with Taiwan's ongoing industrial transformation, the city changed its plans for the park, redesignating it as a destination for tech firms. When the number of tenants failed to reach targets, the city later expanded the range of sectors represented in the park. That loosening of restrictions paved the way for the more than 5,000 businesses that have since moved in. The park was later opened up to the service, dining and media industries. So there are all kinds of firms across more than 10 different sectors that moved in. The total number of people working at Nehu Technology Park has now surpassed 116,000. The main roads to the park, built under the initial plan for light industry, are relatively narrow. Today, over 100,000 workers commuting to the more than 5,000 businesses in the park means that both cars and pedestrians have to fight for space. There's lots of cars, but Doza Street is really small. There are some cars turning right, some turning left, and some going straight. And when you throw in so many pedestrians, everything comes to a halt. To clear up the severe traffic problems in Nehu Technology Park, Taipei authorities have focused on pushing mass transit, with one plan offering deep discounts on MRT fares for commuters who travel in the early morning. The hope is that buses and the MRT can supplant cars as the preferred mode of transportation for those commuting to the park, but some experts are skeptical. Assuming everyone started work at 9 o'clock in the morning, how would you get your employees to show up for work a half an hour or even an hour early? How could you get them to work early just because of a cheaper MRT fare? I think this policy will eventually end in failure. Many employees at the park like to drive their cars to work. A reason being that parking is easy with daily parking fees as low as 120 NT. Some companies at the park even allow their workers places to park their cars for free. When it comes to personal vehicles, I think that if they want to get into a traffic jam, then just let them. Congestion from private vehicles is created by the drivers of those vehicles, who should take responsibility in those cases and adjust the time they leave the house accordingly. We're just working to provide some proposals that could help give commuters other transportation choices, but I think it's unnecessary to go to try to cater to their every need. The MRT Wenhu Line serves Nehu Technology Park, but its medium capacity cars are always jam packed with commuters during the morning and evening rush hours. The crush on the MRT has even prompted some in the area to call for the government to build another MRT line to the park. But Professor Zhang Shengxiong isn't buying the appeals. If you're just looking to address this type of commute, you may find that the plan would provide enough capacity during the morning commute, but the trains would be totally empty during off-peak hours. Is this type of investment appropriate? A new MRT line, new light rail and new bridges. Is adding stuff the only way to solve the traffic problems plaguing Nehu Technology Park? Or may less prove to be more?
你要从源头去管理。We need to manage the problem at the source and give businesses some incentives to move out of the park and into surrounding districts, such as Nangang Software Park or Silin Beito Technology Park. That could help reduce the number of companies with offices here, along with the number of people commuting here. Nehu Technology Park's traffic issues are difficult to sort out, precisely because short-term fixes like fare discounts and medium-term fixes such as new public transit options don't get to the heart of the matter. Indeed, the problem and solution may lie with Taipei's long-term city planning approach to development in Nehu and the surrounding areas.